Hi, I'm Katie Elizabeth, and welcome to my blog. I'm going to talk today about something I believe in a lot, and that is the other 1%. I have a web page that's called the other 1%.us. I'm going to tell you a little bit about us because, you know, this is, what is this? This is the day before the election, so it's not quite Eve yet, though. But it, it, it kind of looks like it out, outside my office window because it, it looks like it might rain. Anyway, I want to tell you a little bit about the other 1% because I am a, a very vocal and active member. And we're kind of scattered out, so we're not really a, a great organized group yet, but we do kind of keep in touch, various ones of us. First of all, it's a spiritual base. So... A lot of times we're kind of perceived to be kind of religious nuts. So with that being said, I'll just proceed. We all know that the one, the one percent, they're the very wealthy people of our country. And then like a couple of years ago, they started the Occupy Wall Street and they called themselves the 99 percent. Well, but it still seemed to like revolve around money and power. And the 1% has the most of the money. And they found out that, you know, over half of our national politicians are in the 1%. So I don't think, you know, the 99% is probably being really well represented, at least for people who know what they're going through. But that's another, that's, that's one of my contemplation of preponderance blogs. I have a few blogs that I'm going to, mentioned in, in this vlog. And anyway, and then the the ninety nine percent that was, you know, Occupy Wall Street, they're now ninety eight percent. And so if you do the math, I'm the other one percent. We're also for the most part small business owners or self employed. I have um, I have three businesses. They're not really big and huge and booming yet because I just started them. But they're doing okay. One is called the Land of Goshen LLC, and it distributes my products. One one company is G Moss Goat Milk Soap, which is exactly what it sounds. It's soap made out of goat milk, but I don't use any lard and no tallow, you know, because that's very scriptural for me. I'll get to that in a minute. But we, I, I go, yeah, the other 1%, we go by the whole Bible. So we don't believe that, we believe, we don't believe that any part of the Bible doesn't count, even though there are no godly nations even though we're arguing about that all the time. It's like, we made up our own laws. Nobody goes by God's. So, as individuals, we try to live in obedience. And one of those things is, you know, I don't want any fat and no pork products in my, you know, take that in, into your body. So, you know, I'm thinking, well, I can't use that for soap either. You can't get clean with dirty soap. So, all of my soap is made with goat milk and plant oils. And then the other product, the other company is Tribally Yours, Tribally Yours, and that's um, natural health care and beauty care products, which, by the way, i got to do a, you see this in, in the blog that I broke my arm, and one of our latest products that was formulated is called Chinacreen, and it's an awesome topical pain reliever when the pain is bad to the bone, so... Keep that in mind. At any rate, we're um, the other 1%. We tend to be business owners, self-employed. And it's kind of just taken a, a hobby and made it lucrative and pay taxes on it. That's kind of what we do. And, of course, it gives me the excuse, since I make soap, I get to get on my soapbox. And so here I am. Now, um, I am also an author. I've written some books. Working on one now, of course. But my last one was called Can We All Be Wrong? And that was, it was rather religiously controversial. And so it, it got some, it got no neutral responses at all. So that's, I think that's, that, that was as it should be. 
I also, um, I wrote one called Simply Abundant, which kind of describes my lifestyle, which I come to find out after I've been doing it for seven years. It's homesteading. I had no idea. So after I found that out, I started a blog called holyhomesteading.com. And you can go and basically what that is, is I post things that are going on good. I post things that, you know, might save somebody else from making that same mistake. So I'm trying to be a good example that sometimes I'm a horrible warning and I post both of those. So I do have to kind of, you know, I... I'm, I'm certainly not in the 1%, and I don't really necessarily associate with the 98%, but the other 1%, it feels like, you know, when when we do have an opportunity to make an investment, because I'm going to leave a, I'm going to leave an inheritance to my grandchildren, not a debt. So I'm, I'm making investments in the homestead, and as of late, I thought, well, you know, I need to start gathering up the rainwater, and, you know, a guy in Oregon did that, and I don't know, he got in all kinds of trouble, but so far here, it's okay. So, anyway, I got guttering, and I feel like this is one of those, um, I feel so opulent, I have guttering on my chicken houses. Yeah, I'm pretty uptown on that. So, just throw that out for what that's worth, thought I'd share. But, you know, the the waterfall, the watershed, uh, is just astronomical off of a very small, you know, like one inch of rain on a thousand square feet is like, hundreds of gallons of water. So anyway, I thought that was kind of, I'll throw that out there. For what that is worth, my um, my apolitical blog is called Contemplation of Preponderance. And that's just kind of the from the perspective of, I think they're just yaking our chain, and at the end of the day, they all pick up their brandy snifter, light their big cigars, and say, hey, we pulled off another one. That's what I think. I think it's just kind of theater. So, and that's the perspective there. I answer questions at all experts. And that's everything from, you know, gardening tips to spiritual questions to relationships to budgeting. Just kind of the whole gambit of people trying to survive mainstream that feel like they're, it's kind of getting in over their heads or trying to get out of mainstream and say, okay, now that I, now that I'm trying to aim for dry ground, what do I do? So that's kind of, that's kind of me in a nutshell, which I say in a nutshell, because that's probably a pretty good description of where I belong. So this is Katie Elizabeth. Thanks for watching my vlog.